I recently graduated from graduate school and my advisor, Andrew, was a tremendous advisor, a really great guy. I really couldn't have asked for a better mentor. And there's a little bit of a tradition with Andrew and his grad students in that they give him a framed photograph of the two of them in their full graduation garb when they graduate. And so I wanted to take that up a notch. So I decided to make my own frame and I'm gonna show you how I did it. I started with a piece of three quarter inch walnut. I cut strips about one inch wide with the bandsaw. Two strips was all I needed for a small frame. Then I cut four pieces out with the miter saw with 45 degree ends. I cut two pieces to nine inches on the long edge and two pieces to seven inches on the long edge. The inside dimensions of the frame came out to be six and five eighths inches and four and five eighths inches. Then I used a straight bit in my homemade router table to cut a notch out on the inside edge of the back of each piece. I was going to do this before I cut the four pieces from the strips, but I forgot, so I had to do it to the four pieces individually. It worked out okay though. The notch I cut measures one half inch by three sixteenths inch. Then I glued the pieces together. and clamped them with this handy belt clamp I have. I measured the diagonals to make sure they were the same and that the frame was square. I let the glue dry overnight. Then I did a rough sanding with a sanding disc on my homemade drill powered lathe. I cut four right triangles out of some quarter inch oak I had lying around. The dimensions don't really matter, but I think that the non-hypotenuse sides were two and a half inches long, which was plenty big. I planned on using those triangles to reinforce the corners of the frame. So I marked one inch from each corner and marked a quarter inch slot in the middle of the frame at the corners. I used a handsaw to cut away as much of this area as I could and used the chisel to scrape out the remaining pieces and used a bit of sandpaper wrapped around a thin piece of wood to smooth the sides and bottom. And I repeated this on all four sides. Then I glued the oak triangles into those grooves. You can see how ridiculously big those triangles are. I could have gotten away with much smaller ones. I mixed some walnut sawdust with the wood glue to fill in any gaps around the triangles. Then I let the frame dry overnight. I tried cutting the excess off the triangles with a flush cut handsaw, but that was taking too long, so I switched over to the bandsaw. And that went much faster. Then I sanded the entire frame. I started with a sanding disc to smooth out the big lumps and excess glue, but did most of the sanding by hand. I sanded down to 220 grit sandpaper and finished with double aught and quadruple aught steel wool. Then I drilled a pilot hole on the back of what would become the bottom of the frame. I drilled this hole out to just under a half an inch, to a depth of about half an inch. I think I used a 31 64th inch drill bit. I put a piece of half inch hardwood dowel into this hole and used the edge of my workbench to figure out how long I needed to cut the dowel to give the angle I wanted. I used a factory made picture frame as a rough reference. Then I cut the dowel to length. Then I cut a five by seven inch rectangle out of one eighth inch Baltic birch plywood using the bandsaw. I finished all the wood pieces with tongue oil finish. I applied three coats and sanded with steel wool between coats. I like tongue oil finish and it's easy to apply, but it does take a while to dry between coats. Then I cut a piece of glass to match the five by seven inch mat I was going to use. Cutting glass is a little intimidating at first, but it really isn't hard or particularly dangerous if you're careful. Then I assembled all the parts. I put the glass in first, followed by the mat and the 4x6 photograph that I taped to the mat with acid-free tape. 
then a piece of acid-free backing paper, and finally the plywood. I use little tiny brad nails to hold all the pieces in place. I inserted the dowel stand, and the picture frame was finished. So this was actually the first picture frame I have ever made, and I was a little nervous about it, but I like the way it turned out. I hope you liked this video, at least found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching. From graduate school, and my advisor, Andrew, was it? Tremendous advisor, he's a... I have suddenly forgotten how to talk. Let's do that one more time. Previous graduate students, and that they all gave him... <clears throat> one more time. Full graduation garb. No, that wasn't very good. I'm just gonna have to be satisfied with one of these takes. One last time. And I wanted to take that up a notch. This is not a good take. One of those other ones is better. So this was actually the first picture frame I've ever made. That dog is so loud. You can also subscribe. Mm.